I was not expecting this with this $30 wig. Oh my goodness. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss Chrissy. That's Chrissy with a K. Today in this video, I am talking about this Amazon under $30 leave out wig. And it's a human hair blend, y'all. I, I really like this wig. I really do like her. So I did go to the side with this wig and in this middle part, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all how I put this wig on. I'm also gonna show you guys kind of how I prep my hair underneath my wigs and all that jazz, all that good stuff. I purchased this wig a while ago, it's just now I'm getting time to actually film it. And I don't know why I was holding on to her for so long. I really do like this one if you're looking for an option of not using lace and, you know, just a little bit of leave out. This is a great option. Before we get started, give this video a thumbs up for me. It really does help me out. Hit that subscribe button and let's jump in. So I have been seeing this wig float around and I bought it a while ago, but I haven't tried it. So today I'm gonna be blending my natural hair with this. It's called the Dominican Blowout 22 inch wig. This is a synthetic blend wig. It says, it says, everybody that I've seen with this wig like looks so good and it looks so natural. So I'm really curious to try it. This is what the stock card is looking like. I have the color natural black. Lights are too bright, y'all. I think that's good. How y'all doing? Y'all okay? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So this is what the wig is looking like. This wig is under $30 on Amazon. Depending on your site, you could get it anywhere from like $20 to $30. I've seen the Hearts and Cake 90 review this wig and is that your hair? But other than that, I haven't really seen anybody review this wig. So I really wanted to try her. So just basic what the cap construction is looking like. Ooh, this wig feels good, y'all. Like this feels like, this feels like the Outre Nisha half wig. This feels really good. This feels really natural. This reminds me of like a, I wanna say like a, a yakky, but a sleek, actually like a Dominican blowout. <laughs> it feels like my natural hair, but I blew it out. Focus, focus. There we go. This actually feels like my hair blown out. So this is the natural black. I'm not sure if it's gonna be too black for my hair, but this is what it's looking like. It's really pretty. The texture is really pretty, y'all. This looks good. This looks real good. It comes with this clear string in the middle here just to kind of hold it together. I'm gonna have to cut that out. And this is the U part in the middle here. So it's looking like that. So you can leave your leave out in the middle here. It does come with these clips right here if you want to use that, but that can mess up your hair. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use that, but maybe for the sake of the video, I'm gonna use it, but it does come with some clips and some combs. If you're gonna use this on a regular, it's not good to use the combs because it can break off your hair. So keep that in mind. And then a comb in the back and this stretchy cap. All right, so let's talk about my hair. So I left my hair out. As you guys can see, she is flourishing. She is looking good. Oh, my hair is growing, y'all. Like it is really growing. Okay, y'all not here for that. <laughs> But I'm just so proud of my hair because it's come a long way. It's getting thick. It's growing. I've been using these Nutrafil vitamins. I'm just going to mention it real quick because I really do feel like underneath my wigs, underneath my hair, this is really helping my hair grow. It's stopped the shedding. It's making it thicker. My edges are coming back. So I do suggest these vitamins. But now my hair, as far as how I left it out. Now I kind of did like a half, half situation. I didn't know how the wig was going to look. So I didn't know what I wanted to do. But I did kind of start prepping my hair. I think I'm just gonna play with this middle hair. So I'm gonna leave that. I, I played with it where I can do a side and a middle. I'll show you guys that in a second. So I did straighten out my hair because I didn't know how I wanted to blend this wig with my hair. So also before I straighten out my hair, I just wanna tell y'all because I never really tell y'all what I do underneath my wigs as far as care for my hair. So just so you guys know, as far as like um, underneath my hair, I do shampoo my hair with- Sorry guys, so I had to edit this part in. I totally forgot to tell you guys the shampoo that I use as a clarifying shampoo before I applied my moisturizing shampoo. I really like these two shampoos because it's really gonna remove all that dirt and grime and build up on your hair before you apply your moisturizing shampoo. I'll leave a link down below in my description box for all these products. It'll be labeled hair care under wig. My go-to shampoo and conditioner is Brio Geo um, shampoo and conditioner. I swear by this for my natural hair. It's good on my type 4C hair and it's really, really good. It's a little pricier than most shampoo and conditioner, but this is the brand right here that I use. 
okay? But a little of that really does go a long way and I think it is so worth it. I believe in investing in your hair and investing in products that are actually going to work. But I highly do suggest the shampoo and conditioner if you feel like splurging on yourself. <laughs> Another quick mention, I don't know why I forgot to say all this stuff in the video, but I'm so sorry. This is a conditioning cap. You just pop this in the microwave and it's really easy. It's better than going like underneath the dryer. And if you're trying to do a deep conditioning and I really like it. So that's the shampoo and conditioner I use. So then I went in and I straightened my hair. As you guys see, my hair is not normal. Ooh, 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 ooh. My hair is not normally this straight. So I did go in with my Revlon blow dryer brush. I love this brush. I have been using this brush for quite a while now. I, I use it both on my hair and my daughter's hair. And I love this brush to straighten out my hair. I do suggest you go in with a heat protectant. I do love this Silk Elements heat protectant right here. This one is my go-to. And then on my scalp, I do love this Dudley's hair and scalp conditioner. Sometimes I have to hunt for it because it seems like they don't sell it everywhere. I have found it on Amazon and every time they restock, I do jump on it. This is what I use to a little bit of grease on my scalp. <laughs> I like this leave-in conditioner. This one right here, I've been using this one. I've been playing around with Amika products as well. And I really do like this. I love it. I love the way how it makes my hair soft. I love how it feels on my hair. Um, this is the Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. And it's a spray-on, so um, it's real easy. Okay, let's jump into the meat of the video. Now, like I said, I initially started with my hair half and half, but I'm just going to go and leave out like this much of my hair. I'm not gonna leave out too much. I'm only gonna leave out that much. And I'm gonna put this back with my ponytail because I wanna blend the wig with my hair. I, I see a vision here, you know. I hope y'all see the vision too. So I'm just gonna leave out just a tad of my hair. My hair feels so soft, y'all like that much my hair feels so soft i think it's so important that you use good products on your hair and not just cheap stuff you have to use what's within your budget but i have noticed that since i've improved the quality of my hair products my hair is is looking a lot better so all i'm doing here is i'm just putting my hair in a ponytail because i realized i didn't need that much leave out i'm putting on a wig cap with some bobby pins because i don't want my hair to snag with the combs Pretty much I did leave out for a middle part and I'm going to do leave out for a side part like this. So again, you don't need this much leave out, but because I'm going to show you guys two styles, that's why I'm leaving this much. I'm just tucking away the leave out for the side part and now I'm just putting on the wig. And as you see, this is all the leave out you really need right in the middle of the U part. I was just being a little extra because I wanted to look like I had a sew in. So I left some hair out in the front and now I'm just working with that hair right in the middle. So if you want to do a middle part, this is exactly the setup that you will do. And now I'm just matching my hair to the wig. So I'm just going to add a little bit of bumped ends and straightening out my hair some i'm not straightening it out too much because i wanted it to match and look as natural as possible definitely going with your heat protectant spray for my edges you guys know i love my topic i'll leave a link in the cards if you want to watch the full video this just kind of helps my edges appear more fuller it's just some hair building fibers but again all of that is talked about in the video linked in the cards and now i'm just adding some final touches at first i didn't know if i wanted to just kind of leave my edges the way they were but i did decide to go in with my she is bomb edge control because i like that look but you don't have to do that and that pretty much was it guys all right y'all so i was not expecting this i was not expecting this with this 30 dollar wig oh my goodness what this this looks good so i'm gonna go and shift it to the side i don't even want to do that because it looks so good <laughs> but this is everything it's blending really nice into my hair again i did leave some hair out on the side i feel like that helped with the blending if y'all saw i had to go on my little bit of topic because the edges is a little thin okay it's growing back but it's a little thin check out the video right here if you want to know more about this product this video is not for that this is beautiful this is so gorgeous i tried to use very minimal heat i didn't want to make it like silky straight because this texture is like a blown out texture it's not silky straight so i wanted to kind of keep it you know matching to my hair and i think she looks pretty good let's go to the side and wrap this up so now to get a side part look we're just going to use that hair that i had 
pinned off to the side and I'm doing the same thing here with the prep it was a little easier to just go ahead and kind of um, curl the hair off without the wig I found that after the fact if you see the curls are coming out a little bit better than that first initial attempt and after curling and prepping up the hair I'm just gonna go ahead and put this U part on it wasn't hard but it was getting a little confusing so I did the rest off camera <laughs> all right so I went off camera and I did this to the side it's looking really good on the side as well I like the middle of the side they both work now I must say this cap is really big y'all like if you have a big head it's definitely gonna fit going on the side is a little like bulky I think I needed to play with it a little bit more but the U part is really long so it might be a little bulky on the side if you try to put it on the side but overall I really like this I really like this wig I get it I see what the hype is and she's under 30 bucks so you can't beat that and it's a human hair blend so um I'm here for it I am totally here for it and you can put her up if you want but I don't have time to do all that because um it's getting late y'all <laughs> I did slick my edges but you don't need to you really don't need to because this is such a natural looking wig that you could get away with like just wearing it as is but i did sleek my edges with the she is bomb edge control i really love this edge control i'll leave a link below to my amazon storefront where you can find all this stuff like the vitamins the wig the edge control whatever you're looking for i'll leave a link below i do earn a small commission if you do choose to shop there it does help me out but you could choose to shop wherever you like but i'm just leaving you links leave me some comments down below let me know if you like the middle if you like the side which one you're working with but i think i like both they both work until next time i'm gonna talk to y'all later bye